Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting Demon Sea within the sylvan realms of Frost. Hailing from the United States, this is one of my favorite black metal records from the 90s. And when it comes to Demon Sea, this is right next to Joined in Darkness. Now, Joined in Darkness... Alright, I love both of these records kind of equally, but if you notice, I don't have a physical copy of Joined in Darkness anymore. Fuck. One day, I'm gonna have a copy again on vinyl, but in the meantime, I'm happy enough with this bad boy right here. Within the Sylvan Realms of Frost is one of those early... U.S. black metal records that kind of just help put American black metal in a more serious direction when it came to other countries viewing the American black metal scene. I know for a while it was kind of like, uh, you know, they're just a bunch of ex-death metal dudes pretty much doing exactly what they were doing across in Scandinavia and all over. But if you look at like early 90s US black metal, bands like Judas Iscariot, they were really, you know, taking that like Scandinavian model and modifying it with these like American esque vibes at times. It's kind of hard to explain. But if you like listen to early Absu, it's kind of, you can kind of tell it's like, you can almost feel that it's like an American black metal release, like, it's not so, like, kind of following metal by numbers, for lack of a better term, like, because when it comes to black metal, a lot of the times it's like uninspired tremolo picking, Maybe they'll throw a guitar solo in there, straight out of Hell Awaits, Error Slayer. And then, you know, you have your tormented vocals with non-inspired blast beats. These bands made everything not only feel inspired, but they made it feel frantic and important. And Demon C just really, really nails that icy style of black metal, but not hailing from a place like Norway or Sweden or Finland, anywhere in Scandinavia. Like, this is something coming from the Pacific Northwest, to the best of my knowledge. Off the top of my head, I honestly don't remember, but, like, getting to see Demon C live, they definitely had the guys from Chorofragrium as the backing band. So, I'm pretty sure that Demon C resides in the Pacific Northwest, but I'm not 100% sure. Don't kill me. I'm not, like, you know, a black metal scientist. I, I don't really, you know, know too much when it comes to the history of certain black metal releases and whatnot. But this was recorded in 1995 and 1996. And this is the 2016 remastered version at Shadowsphere. And it's fucking sick. Like, seriously. And Dan Fried did the layout. And Dan Fried is the fucking man. But today I want to talk about some Canadian metal. And I'm not talking about the Dark Throne song. Even though that's an awesome Dark Throne song. Canadian metal. <laughs> but I'm talking about Expunged. This is a self titled mini LP, limited to 500 copies on black vinyl. This right here is a straight up love letter to the HM2 pedal. It's nothing you haven't heard before, but like, it's a lot better than a lot of those entombed and dismember clones out there. And I'll read you the hype sticker real quick. Ugly, crushing death metal in the classic HM2 mold, courtesy of Joe Capital Aside from Ice War, etc. 
and crew. As crusty as the early Peaceville catalog, but from the Great White North. Awesome promo photo. Pretty sure that's a Bloods for Me shirt. I do need to review that. I have the cassette behind me somewhere. But, uh, yeah. You get five songs of Swedish-influenced, crusty death metal. It's fucking very, you know, exactly what I said it sounds like. It's kind of, you know, early nihilist early grave, dismember, gate creeper, but like, take all the fucking, you know, classy production out of gate creeper and make it a lot more fucking punk rock and the outcome is expunged and it's enjoyable. Like, I do get a lot of HM2 releases, and this was one that, you know, it really, I was like, oh, like, you know, this is, this is good. I, I like it. And, again, the sound's not original, but Expunged managed to make it sound original, and I really love the art design. Everything about it, like, is fucking sick, and you're in and you're out. Like, it doesn't overstay its welcome, and it's a great introduction to the band. And I have to thank Expunged for, you know, being rad enough to send a copy over, because I posted this on my Facebook one morning, and I was like, oh, like, like this is really good, you know? If you're a fan of HM2 worship, you're gonna fucking love this, like, seriously. I remember reviewing that organic release, and, you know, it was good and all, but, like, it just, it didn't have, like, some, like, there was something missing, and this mini LP just managed to capture what I kind of felt was missing, and that is, this has a lot more, like I was saying, crusty, like, punk aspects to it, where that organic release was kind of like just you know again it was kind of just by the numbers hm2 we sound like entombed but we're not entombed it was one of those types of releases but it wasn't bad the songwriting was top notch it just again it it's not something you haven't heard before but on Hell's Headbanger Records, you know you're getting some fucking goods, like... And Expunge, fuck yeah. Like, a track like Melting Flesh, Putrefying Mind, Dark Age Crusade, Your Demise, and the opening, Disposed in Chaos and War. Yo, this is a badass little mini LP, and it's a great introduction to the band. I would have reviewed this earlier, but I was having problems with my turntable, but I just have to keep the volume at a certain level. It, it's fucking annoying, but, you know, shit happens, and I don't have the money to get it fixed. But this release right here, you have JS on bass and vocals, KF on drums, and WD on guitar. <laughs> what, what, what's, his, what's his cousin's name? WD40? But, uh, nah, I'm, I'm just fucking around. But, nah, Expunge is fucking badass. Like, seriously. Canadian death metal of the HM2 variety. It was mixed and mastered at Apartment 2 Studio in Ottawa, Canada. By Topan Das in summer of 2019. And the artwork here is by Curse of Face. Who, I really, really, I, I dig his depiction of Satan here. It's fucking sick looking. And I love the logo as well. The logo is dope. It doesn't say who drew the logo, but I'm guessing maybe Curse of Face did. But this was recorded, it says DIY. So I, I guess maybe they recorded it themselves. But the production, you know, it's good, but, like, it's very, very crusty, and it's good in that aspect. Like, it's exactly what the hype sticker says it is. Like, there's really not too else, too much else to say about it. Like, it's enjoyable if you're a fan of 
that style of death metal. Like, if you have a copy of Entomb's Left Hand Path, or like the Crawl EP especially, you know, you're pretty, in my opinion, you're, you're set. Like, you really don't really need any other bands that worship the HM2 pedal. But, it's interesting to hear other bands' takes on, you know, that kind of Swedish buzzsaw style of death metal. A band like Mortify from Japan, like, holy shit. They're a great example of being completely original while, you know taking something that isn't new at all but three tracks on side a and two on side b it's a fun little release right here and if you're in the hardcore you're definitely gonna love this one like it's just an enjoyable listen and i dig it when it comes to some canadian death metal Normally, you think of over-technical, gnarly shit, like, from Cthulhus to fucking Cryptopsy, you know, a lot of technical death metal. Even bands like Naraxis, Beneath the Massacre, like, that over-the-top technical style of death metal is completely in the rearview mirror here. This is pretty much a straightforward, just... Swedish inspired death from Canada. So, if you're a fan of death metal of the HM2 variety, this has your name written all over it on five tracks. So, Expunged and their self titled on Hell's Headbangers, it's definitely worth your time if you're a fan of that good old fashioned HM2 buzzsaw sound. As well as some early Peaceville crusty goodness. Put them all together in a blender and boom. You have the first mini LP from Expunged on Hell's Headbangers. Limited to 500 black vinyl copies. Pretty sure they have a CD available as well. But yeah, definitely check that out and hopefully you enjoy it. But... This is something that, if you're a fan of black metal and you don't own, this is something, in my opinion, I would consider essential. And that's Demon C within the Sylvan Realms of Frost. Like, so, so good. Again, it's one of those black metal releases. It doesn't get old. It's just fucking awesome. This is, like, top shelf. A plus, fuck yeah, killer USBM, Demon C, within the Sylvan Realms of Frost on Nuclear War Now. If they still have copies, get one. But, thanks to Expunged, and thank you Maniacs at home for watching, you fucking rule. Hell's <laughs>